Hey, good morning. Lauren Hall, Pete Gallivan, live outside Salem Field in downtown Buffalo this morning because it is a huge day for Buffalo baseball fans. They will finally get to go inside to see the Blue Jays play a game here in Buffalo. They were here last summer, of course, but this time fans get to go. Yeah, and it's the first time we've been saying it all morning in more than 100 years. Get this. Lewis Furman was in the mayor's office. Woodrow Wilson was the president and the U.S. was still fighting World War I the last time Buffalonians got to go in and see a big league game in person. It's been more than a century since Buffalo baseball fans have been able to pack into a stadium and watch a major league game here in the Queen City. Uh, September 8th, 1915, the Blues uh, in the Federal League, which was a professional high-level major league baseball league uh, in competition with the American League and the National League. And uh, the last games were actually a doubleheader. John Boutet has quite the collection of memorabilia, and he should. He is the exhibit chairman for the Greater Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame. The Buffalo Blues took on the Baltimore Terrapins and beat them four to nothing and five to four to end the uh, the major leagues here in Buffalo up until that uh, the, the Blue Jays came to town. And that collection includes items from the short-lived Buffalo Blues of the Federal League. They had some really, really good uh, baseball players. We had a guy here named Hale Chase. Uh, Hale Chase was a first baseman that played for the Blues. Hale Chase was voted one of the greatest first basemen to ever play baseball. And Boutet says the team also had a Western New Yorker whose innovation is still used in every ballpark in the majors. We actually had a guy uh, inducted in the Greater Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame, Howard Emke, that played for the Blues uh, from Silver Creek, New York. Howard Emke invented the infield tarp that's pulled out for rain delays. But back to his playing days in Buffalo. These are pictures of the Blues' home field. Federal League Park at the corner of Northland Avenue and Lonsdale Road in the Hamlin Park neighborhood. And it lasted for about as long as the Blues did. That was there two years. Uh, it, it was a nice stadium. It was a beautiful baseball park. It seat uh, 20,000 people. And when the team folded, uh, the league folded in 1915, it went unused. And that was end up torn down in 1916. So it, was, it wasn't there very long. Not many people even know that it was even there. From the Blues to the Blue Jays, a century later, Buffalo is once again home to big league baseball. And the Federal League, well, that's tucked away in yet another chapter of the unknown stories of Western New York. Yeah, the Federal League just couldn't compete with the uh, the American League and the National League, but they gave it a go, and Buffalo was part of that. Yeah, it's so it's so nice to think about this baseball history being part of our sports history because, of course, we have so much Bills and Sabres history, but the Buffalo sports world goes far beyond those two sports, too, and now we're adding another chapter to the history books today. Yeah, and what's cool is if we get a rain delay, we can thank Howard Epke for the, uh, the tarp that they pull out, a Western New Yorker with an innovation that's still being used today. Hey, those are important. <laughs> <You got laughs> thank that, you. <laughs> thank you to him. All right, let's toss out.